This is the Fujifilm X10 and it is the newest camera that I have bought. Uh, it is tiny. Look how small that is. I literally fits in my hand. You could fit it in a pocket. It's so cute, isn't it? Anyway, um, so the reason I actually bought this camera was because whether you're aware or not, I'm going to America for five weeks next month in about three weeks time. Yeah, so I'm going there for three, uh, three. <laughs> so I'm going there for five weeks and I didn't want to take any expensive cameras because I didn't want to take the black magic because you you cannot take that traveling like it, unless you are going for business and you're actually going to film something then yeah sure take black magic but batch life's on it awful and i'm not taking my massive rig when i'm going to be out there for five weeks and it is for pleasure i'm going with three of three of my uh best mates so i, I don't want to be taking uh any big cameras and also um obviously i do have the sony a7 III as well you're probably going take that you've got loads of lenses but I have a photography gig. I'm shooting at Victoria's Festival literally the week after I get back. And I don't, if that got damaged, I wouldn't have a camera. I wouldn't have a photography camera to use. So I needed a solution. I needed something that was portable. I needed something that was easy to carry around. I, I can't not take a camera when I'm going to America for five weeks. I'm going to go to all these beautiful states New York, LA, San Diego, San Francisco, National Districts. I'm literally going everywhere. And I wanted something that I could document that with without taking anything that's going to hinder my experience or not live behind the camera the whole time because I don't want to do that. But then equally, I need to get rid of like my creative juices. I, I, I hate being somewhere and going like, oh, I wish I had a camera to take a picture of that or something like it really gets to me. Um, <laughs> that sounds so weird, doesn't it? But it's true. It really does get to me. And this is where I landed on this. I've been wanting to get a little point and shoot for ages. It is digital. It's not a film camera. But I am going to be doing film simulation on it. Um, so what that means, I'll essentially uh, put up some pictures now, which I've taken on this and kind of converted them into film. I do really like film pictures, but I do think it's a bit of a hassle when you have a film camera, you get it developed um, and you have to wait ages and no guarantee of like what the picture actually can look like. Obviously, I know that's part of the fun, but not for me, not for my anxiety. So I wanted to, a digital camera that shooted raw. They are so hard to find, especially at a good price range. Now, this was, I think it was like £235, um, and it shoots raw. It is amazing. Like, to, sh to find a small camera like this that shoots raw is a game changer. Um, it has so many cool little features on it. Um, I'll just run through them now quickly. Um, my favourite part, right? Are you ready for this? this is my favourite part. <laughs> it's a little flash, like, and it's so bright as well. It's literally so powerful. Another awesome thing about it as well, it is a 28 to 112 millimeter lens. So it does zoom. So if I just want to do that 35 millimeter vibe, I can do that. If I want to zoom in a little bit, because you know something's a little bit far in the distance, I can and get that compression. I can go super wide at 28. Um, it's just such an awesome camera for 235 pounds for it to shoot raw, have a built in flash, have a zoomed lens is tiny like this. It's just awesome. Like, how could you not think this is amazing? It's such, a, it's probably one of the best things I've ever bought because it makes my life so much easier when I'm going to places and I don't want to take a big lens or a big camera on my, my A7 III or Blackmagic. I can just take this and it will fuel my creative, I, I don't know what you'd call it, my, my creative juice. I call it my creative juices. It, it, it fuels my creative juices um, and it lets me release them. <laughs> oh god's sake and i've just come back from tenerife with my beautiful girlfriend and i'll be using this for the whole week um trying it out on some palm trees taking some selfies of us taking pictures of her in the sunset and it's awesome like it does everything that i want it to do it it, it turns on super fast it, it takes the picture super quick um it's the exposure i, I literally put it in auto like, i don't play around with the settings i literally turn it on and point it and shoot it like I, I want to use it like a film camera just without the hassle of developing the film. I'd rather just edit them myself and have a little bit more freedom with that and know I'm actually getting the picture and not just taking a picture of a low exposed tree. Do you know what I mean? Um, I have done a shoot with it as well, uh, which they turned out awesome. Like it, it, we, we, it was super dark. We just turned on some lights and uh, I just kind of let the, the um, low aperture kind of do its thing and the, the, the pictures turned out awesome. Um, 
So, so yeah, all in all, it is an amazing camera and it will 100% come with me everywhere. Um, it's super portable. I have it on this little strap where I just put it around my shoulder and it kind of just sits on my waist. Um, and it's just there ready, ready to go whenever I need it. Battery life's awesome. It lasts the whole day. Um, yeah, I literally don't have a bad word to say about this. For, for the purpose it has, a built-in flash. I'll do it once more time because it's so cool built-in flash and it's so bright as well if you're in the market for a little small compact camera that shoots raw so with that you you have so much flexibility when you want to edit the pictures I, I can i can do the film simulation because i'm taking a raw picture it has more information to change the colors um file sizes aren't huge either obviously because why would they be from this um yeah if, if you're in the market for a small camera that you kind of want to do play around with that film simulation uh, this is definitely the one like uh, there's no I looked at all the other cameras it, it looks cool it has that kind of like classic vintage Fuji film camera look that a lot of people are after at the minute and especially myself um, just without the hassle of getting your film developed um, so yeah I just kind of wanted to show you this little this little new toy that I've got and I expect to see a lot of pictures from this um, because I'm super excited to take it to America and seeing its full potential and I'll probably do like a little video when I get back about it as well. Um, but yeah, so far so good. I had it for about a month now and uh, yeah, I literally have a bad word to say about it. It's, it's so, so good. So yeah, that is uh, that is all from me. Just thought I'd let you know that this will be coming everywhere with me now uh, and expect to see a lot more pictures from this on the Instagram as well as I kind of spice up the Instagram with some film simulation pictures so uh be sure to check them out on my instagram tom k visuals but yeah that is it from me hopefully you're having a good day week month year whatever it may be um and i'll see you soon